Hey guys, Delo304 here. Today we're going to be taking yet another look at my 15 inch late 2013 Retina MacBook Pro. I'm going to be doing a little maintenance and inspection on it right now because the other day, actually it was yesterday, I dropped my laptop bag. And it's not this one, it was a different laptop bag that I had. It did not have a whole lot of padding to protect the computer and it ended up screwing up my hinge on this thing. Um, yeah, it was pretty bad. The screen was to the point where th this part of the screen was kind of kinked back a little bit, so the display did not line up at all with the computer anymore. It was pretty bad. I was able to fix it. Um, yeah, not the most elegant solution, but I kind of just hit the back hinge a little bit, and it scooted it back pretty much into the place where it's supposed to be again. But... I'm going to open up the machine and inspect the hinge and the screws for the hinge to make sure everything's good and tight and we're also going to just look at if anything happened in there and at the same time we're also going to just clean the machine out because there's it's probably been a while since I've opened this and therefore there's probably more than enough dust in here to you know uh, cause it to run a little bit hotter so we're going to be doing this how I always do this I'm going to flip the machine over pop the bottom cover off and we're going to take a look now, before I do that, I want to just make sure everything is in the proper spot as far as the display hinge goes. Because I want to have it in the right spot, that way if I need to tighten up the screws while it's uh, flipped over and the cover is off, I can just do so and it'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I have my iFixit toolkit here, that's what we're going to be using for this. And yeah, be right back. Alright, so as you can see, I have the computer flipped over here. Um, the display is exactly where I want it to be. So, we're all good on that front. Now I just need to remove the 9 screws from the bottom. Yeah, I don't have 10 screws in my machine. There's a hole. That was a long time ago now. Uh, I accidentally stripped that screw. I had to drill it out. Anyway, that's very old news. So, I'm just going to remove the screws and we'll pop the cover off and see what it looks like under here. Another pro tip for working on this computer, the screws strip very easily. These screws are made from very soft metal. If you do not have the right tip or the right bit to remove them, do not. I found that out the hard way like I mentioned before. The heads on these screws strip very easily. Also, another thing when you're putting the screws back in, they go in at an angle. They kind of follow the contour of the computer. So keep that in mind. You have to be very, very delicate when working with MacBook Pro screws. Um, yeah, that's kind of how it is. So I'm gonna, I popped the two tabs that hold this cover off already. So let's go ahead and pop it open and see what it looks like in here. Okay, so as you can see here, there is some dust that has been uh, accumulating in here. That's actually some of the most dust I've ever seen in this computer, but you can see, from the dust, actually, you can see how the thermal design works. So, these fans, it draws in air from over here. As you can see, evidenced by this, it takes it into the fan. Those push it out through here, through the uh, hinge. So, kind of interesting. I'll clean that off later. I mainly want to take a look at what's going on inside this computer. So, the area I'm most focused on is the other end of the computer. So, I'm going to flip it around here. Now see here's the hinge design and yeah these hinges are rod style now these are the screws we're looking at I want to make sure all of these are nice and tight and mm, that doesn't look too good hold on a second I don't know it looks the same on that side that's probably just grease to grease the hinge so kind of interesting here here is the point of impact it was this corner on the computer it was in a laptop bag like I said but I just want to make sure these screws are nice and tight and it also appears as if this this piece of uh, metal here has been kind of tweaked but I'm not going to worry about that it doesn't really matter I just want to make sure that these screws are nice and tight now these are torque screws so they're not proprietary which is nice but I have to figure out I have to find the right size torques and then of course here you can kind of see that some dust has been building up in these heat sinks I will clean that out before I put the lid back on this machine um, and like I've mentioned in previous videos this is a very nice machine As you can see we have our PCIe SSD here at the RAM the Core i7 processor here two fans one big and one slightly smaller and it's pretty nice so I'm gonna get working on that and we'll see how it goes okay so figured out these screws are a T9 Torx bit for the 
the hinges here. I made sure all of these screws are nice, as, nice and tight, as tight as I can got, I can get them without stripping, of course. You know, within reason. Figured out they weren't really quite as tight as I would have expected them to be for display hinge screws. So it's probably a good idea that I did this. And then, so I'm going to place these covers back on for the hinge screws. Make sure that one goes on. Yeah, that's on there. Okay, and so now I'm just going to clean out this dust, and we should be pretty much done with this. And I hope hope it turns out well. The hinge looks perfectly lined up now. I'm going to go ahead and clean all the dust out of this machine, and we're going to stick it back together, and we'll see if my problem has been solved. Okie dokie, so like I said, I tightened up the hinge screws, the covers back together, everything is cleaned. So I'm going to flip the machine over now and clean all this stuff up. Okay, completed. So, just to recap, I actually have some photos that I'm going to show you of, well, after I dropped the computer. You can see that the problem. So you can see here in this photo, if you zoom in, you can see that the display, there's the display. It's like really off. It's, it's really bad. So if you move to this one, same thing on the front side. You can see the massive misalignment there from the drop. It messed it up. Well, now the display is completely centered. As you can see, nothing nothing wrong with it here. You can see that it is completely centered and fixed now. It uh, lines up perfectly now, which is cool. And the hinge screws were, like I said, a little bit looser than I would have liked. But I... Uh, did fix that so as you can see the computer now the display now completely lines up with the chassis or the bottom part of the computer again just like before the only um, actual damage you can kind of see on the outside of the computer is if you look, get it in the right light you can see there's a little stress mark on the aluminum there from the drop kind of interesting anyway whatever this computer already has a bunch of battle scars on it anyway from previous accidents so let's go ahead and open it up and we'll boot it up for you guys. So, now, <laughs> this computer has been through a lot. I mean, in the past year and a half that I've had it, see that I have this dent in my palm rest too. That's a long story. So I have the hole in the bottom, the dent in the palm rest, and that little stress mark back there. Anyway, let's turn it on. Turn it on again, get this thing back up and running. So I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna stick it back in my usual setup and start using it again. So I'm glad I could fix that. That was kind of that would have drove drove me nuts if I wouldn't have been able to fix that. So very glad I was able to do so. So I have a bunch of stuff open here. Anyway, that was the video on my Retina MacBook Pro. Just a little maintenance and repair there. And I actually got this new laptop bag. Uh, it's a spare one, but it has about a lot more padding on the bottom side. I'd say it has almost an inch of, well no, half an inch of padding down there. My previous bag had almost nothing, so that should prevent this kind of thing from happening again. So, yeah, there we go. Retina Mac Pro back in, back in business there. And I still plan to use this computer for at least another year or two. Probably closer to two or three years more. It's only a year and a half old, so, yeah. I'm gonna stick it back on the setup, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys later.